how to replace the rear active control motor mount on a 2005 through 2010 Honda Odyssey. I'm Brian Essick from How To Automotive. I'm going to walk you step by step through that process. So the first step we need to do is get our vehicle on a rack or hoist or if you're doing this at home use floor jacks and jack stands and get the front of the vehicle up in the air. So looking upwards towards the back of the engine you'll see the motor mount here above the rack and pinion. So we're going to unplug the electrical connector like this, set it aside. We're going to remove the 17 millimeter nut here and on the opposite side of the mount there's going to be another 17 millimeter nut. You're going to need a flex head ratchet and a deep socket to get to those nuts. Once you got the nuts removed now you're going to pull the rubber tab at the corners of the mount over like this and then you're going to work the bracket out and when you get it out it's going to look like this it's going to have a rubber bushing around it so our next steps are going to be to remove a 14 millimeter bolt here and then there's going to be four more one here and here one further back here and one on the all the way in, in the very back of the mount right here and before we do that we're going to put a pole jack and a piece of block of wood and if you guys are doing this at home you can use floor jacks and you're going to jack up the transmission about an inch or so tip for getting the bolts off is to use your flex head ratchet with an extension in a socket and then what I do is I use a long pry bar like this and then I use exhaust to wedge the pry bar against the ratchet and pry on the pry bar and that gives me a, a additional leverage to pop the bolt free. So now that you've got all five of the motor mounts free what we're going to do next is use our pole jack and screw it upwards just so the engine and tranny is lifted about a half inch. Now you can slide the engine mount and work it completely out of the vehicle. So I'm going to be using factory engine mounts on this and these are going to be the part numbers. I'll make sure I link these up in the description of the video. And the reason why I'm going to use a factory part is I've put aftermarket engine mounts in these before and it just didn't work out. I had to replace the motor mounts again and again. So by using factory mounts, the customer will be happier, you'll be happier. So this is what the mount's going to look like, and we're going to get her installed in the car. You're going to take the new mount and slide it into position like this. And then you're just going to lower the pole jack down until it's just touching the top of the uh, engine mount here. Then you can start the top bolt here. And then once you got the top bolt, leave it loose, but then you can start the remaining four bolts. And once you got all four bolts started, then you can tighten all the all five of them down. Now that you got all five of the engine mounts tightened back down, now you can take this top bracket here. And we're going to go ahead and slide it back up into position. And you want the open portion of it facing the um, facing the engine mount, the more closed area facing the back of the firewall. And then you can go ahead and start the uh, the two 17 millimeter nuts. Next, you can plug in the electrical connector. Once you have that done, you can go ahead and remove your pole jacks or your floor jack that you were using to jack the transmission and engine up. And that'll complete the job of replacing the active control engine mount on a 2005 through 2010 Honda Odyssey. I'm Brian Essett from How To Automotive. I'd like to thank you guys for watching my videos. Encourage you to subscribe. I invite you to head over to the howtoautomotive.com for more valuable videos like this. And also to remind you that I will link up all the parts and tools that are used in this video in the description. So that way if you need to pick them up, you can find them there. Thank you again for watching.